The following show contains adult content. It's not our intent to offend anyone, but we want to inform you that if you are a child under the age of 18 or get offended easily, this next show may not be for you. The content, opinions, and subject matter of these shows are solely the choice of your show hosts and their guests, and not those of the Entertainment Network or any affiliated stations. Any comments or inquiries should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for listening. The Adventures of Pipe Man live from dun, 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 Costa Rica, and it's season the essay ocho and episode dos. So let's bring on right now my great co host. Before we go any further, because without them, I have no show. So let's go and bring on the Pipe Nuts. Oh, look at that. This is why we call them pipe nuts. And it's 2024, so we can't call them pipe bitches because that would be offensive. Just like you heard in my disclaimer, we we don't mean to offend anybody. So if we offend you, we didn't <laughs> mean to. So just have fun oh, with wait. it. Yeah. Uh, now, the pipe nuts, I can offend them because they don't care. Well, they care, but I don't care. We don't care. And, and so, all right. Let's start with the one that is ready and waiting with open legs, opposed to open arms. The pipe chef, the the chef nut, Rachel. How are you, Rachel? I'm fine. Should we call you Rachel or Rachel Roberts, or should we just call you Robert because you're transitioning? (laughs) You can call me whatever you like. (laughs) Oh, well... (laughs) I'm sure your cousin can too. It's Rachel and Rebo. And then here we are, the swamp nut who's been in the swamp for many, many seasons. Oh, look at all that stuff coming up. We got all kind. It was funny. I saw these things coming up on the screen. Nobody else can see him. That's watching the show, by the way, but yeah. I can see him because I'm in Costa Rica and you know, they have cool stuff here. Like mm-hmm. you can go right two blocks from where I am to the apothecary and get yourself some microdosing mushrooms. Ooh. Funny story about that though, but let's introduce rebel first because she's just sitting there like very studious, you know, and she's not wearing her schoolgirl outfit. So the studious thing should not be a- applicable right now, but welcome rebel meddler. Oh, she's not even listening. She doesn't even have her headphones on. She didn't even know what was going on. Hello rebel. Rebel. I think Rebel's having technical issues. Rebel, turn on your mic. You know that button that has mic on and mic mic off? She's playing with Rebel, Rebel, Rebel. Hey, what's happening, Rebel? Where are you? Where are you, Rebel? Let's see in the private chat. Oh. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, she's freezing because mm-hmm. maybe because of her background. Maybe Speaking of backgrounds, okay, I saw the coolest mm-hmm. TikTok yesterday. It said, basically, don't, uh, you know, you know what you should do, Rebel? If you can hear me, Rebel. Rebel, if you can hear me. Well, Juan, up, 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 the, the spinning white death. But anyway, back to what we're saying about TikTok. Okay. You have to be careful what's in your background when you're doing a Zoom, a live call, or whatever. There was this chick, a business meeting, a professional business meeting, and on her bookshelf behind her, she forgot to put away her dildo. So that was in the Zoom meeting. Yeah. Maybe she didn't. Maybe that was an invitation. Maybe she, yeah, why are you yeah, all well, underestimating us women? That's women back 50 million years. That was okay? no accident. 
That's so she could like, you know, when that's for when like, things get slow, she could just go like. Yeah, yeah hello? But, but should you really do that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, you know. You know what? I, I'm going to call it. Rebel because this is bullshit, okay? This call is her. bullshit. But I do want to say, okay, so funny story about the mushrooms thing. I was with my daughter at a store somewhere. Uh -huh. And like, it's a big craze now. Like, I, I love how they take these things that were illegal drugs and make them like the, the these healthy, great crazes. Oh I'm sorry, God. but yeah. tripping all the time does not <laughs> make you a better person, okay? It, it, it only cures your depression because you're hallucinating, so you don't realize how crappy your life is. But then once you get back to straight again, then you remember. So you have to always oh be God, I suck. I, I do have some great tripping stories, but not not as an adult. OK, mm -hmm. well, you know, it's like, come on. It, it's a, you know what? It's the world we live in. Everybody's doing it. I, I know. And yeah. that's they're it, dumbing it, us all down so they can put somebody 100 years old into office. That's yeah, what like, those days of like just drinking or O.V.E.R. All my friends are all on that bandwagon. They're like, we're going to microdose. I'm like, micro what? <laughs> It's another fad. You know, here's the thing people don't realize about being healthy and eating healthy and doing it. There's a lot of things that are just fads. This is a fad. It is. Okay. Like, and I'm, I'm actually, again, I'm, I'm, yeah, I've jumped on it. I, I, I buy all the mushroom powders for drinks and stuff. You're eating cow shit. <laughs> I mean, it, like back when I was in high school, well, not high school. Uh, yeah, in high school, yeah. we used to go and tip cows to get the Yeah, mushrooms. I was going to say, I knew you were going to say tip cows. You must yeah. be from Texas. No, that's just a thing everywhere because don't yeah. ever, ever accuse me of being from Texas. Because let me tell you my you know, one of my first experiences in Texas. Not my first, but so I've driven cross country multiple times. Mm -hmm. And the first time... We drove through Texas. It took like three days because that 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 state's a hell of a state to get through. It's, and, yeah. But there was nothing to see. The way we went, there was nothing to see. Like literally, there weren't even, you know, dust bowls. Okay? <laughs> it was like there, there wasn't yeah. even enough dust for that. Okay. I know. But yeah. on my way back, okay, so here's the thing. I was 12 years old. And I was living with my father. I'd been living with my father for two years. Before that, I lived with my mother. I had like two totally separate childhoods. By the way, I chose to move with my father by asking a magic eight ball. I don't know if you know. <laughs> I kid you not. I like I was waffling. My dad said it, it was like my favorite toy. He's like, Well, you asked a magic eight ball. So I and that and I followed what the magic eight ball said. So here's the thing, okay? Smart and child. Two years later, fast forward, my dad comes home one day and he's like, I want you to meet your new mother. <laughs> You're moving to California in three days, and you can't ever tell a living soul. I kid you not that this is a true story. I don't think I've ever said on my radio show ever. Okay. Wow. And uh, so then mm -hmm. you go out there and that's how I got into the whole metal punk scene because mm -hmm. you know, I lived out in LA. Mm -hmm. I was sunset strip and all the clubs in LA that were when it was the start and the height of that whole thing, the 80 sunset strip scene that we'll never, ever see again was never seen before the mm -hmm the shit ever like i'm hanging out with lemmy and ron jeremy at the rainbow wow. because i at 15 years old because i walked over to the rainbow from the roxy with motley crew you know wow. that, you know stuff like that so but then as soon as i got out of high school mm -hmm. not as soon as but shortly thereafter i decided to go back to jersey to go to college and on this drive, I'm driving across the country, and this is before GPS, okay? Like, I was doing cross-country trips with maps and highlighters, okay? Uh -huh. 
Yeah. And it was so cool. No, it was so cool because you could find all these cool places to go instead of just here, just take this route and that's that. You know? Oh my <laughs> God. <she's back. laughs> Hi, Rebel. All right. Do you work now? Can y'all hear me? Oh, yeah. well, well, thank God. If you're an engineer, you should be able to get your shit right. Okay. Well, here she is, the swamp nut, Rebel Meddler. And uh, she's making herself dizzy with those glasses. Un momento, por favor. I am oh, sucking wires. It. You can't even hear. You didn't even hear a word I said. You know, come to the show prepared. You're supposed to be an engineer. I was and here, prepared. You, you're freezing up. You don't have the your headphones on. What the hell is this crap? I like it those. is so typical of you rednecks. So ah, typical. So okay. damn typical. But anyway, I got to finish my story now. You interrupted me with all your bullshit. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, I'm driving through Texas and mind you, one of my best friends from high school who used to actually engineer at the station, he went on this drive with me and he, Michael. yes. Uh, and he is okay. of color. Okay. Okay. And we're in El Paso, Texas. We stopped at the store in El Paso, Texas. And then we go up to the pay phone. I had to make a phone call. There were no cell phones or shit. You had maps with highlighters and pay phones. That's how <laughs> you worked in the world. Okay. And then I'm at the pay phone with him and I noticed something weird in the parking lot. What? And this is where my uh, not warm, fuzzy feelings for Texas started. <laughs> And I look at my bro and I'm like, dude, we got to leave. And he's like, why? Just trust me. We got to leave. <laughs> okay. Because these people were coming over because he was black. Oh. And, and they were going to do something not so good. Okay. And so we got out of there. Now, here's the difference. Here's the difference I want to give in the world. Okay. <laughs> Because all these people out there, you know, spouting their mouth off about different things after doing, the, they do hateful shit and they make it like it's not their fault. Okay. And that yeah. everybody else is the same. So I'm sitting there in El Paso with my black friend who is about to get attacked from some white Texans because he was black, period. That was the reason. Then on our cross country trip, we decided to stop in Georgia. I think it was Georgia or maybe it might actually no, it was, it was another part of Texas <laughs> where, where all of the black people lived at the time. Okay. Cause it was still kind of segregated, even though we think we're not segregated. It still is now. I mean, where rebel lives, they have it. They have separate streets, you know, for, for different people. And, uh, am I wrong rebel? Hello? Am I wrong? No, you're Mike's froze unmute. again. Mike's on mute. Your mic is muted. Unmute your mic. <laughs> your Somebody unmute her mic. Jesus. This was not planned. Everybody thinks. <laughs> planned. No, we planned planned. all this. All right. We'll wait till she We're can unmute good. her mic. Okay. I, I, like she's this. Like, I did. I unmuted it. Look at her. She's tripping out. She's like, I did. She's, she's not sure what to do. Okay. So anyway, we go to this other part of Wait, Georgia where his like family is. is. His family's there. And I'm the only white person probably <laughs> for like at least a hundred miles. They welcomed me with open arms. We had a big barbecue. They were cool as shit. They treated me like family, you know, like, so. That's the thing. Like, why can't we just all be like that? It's just like I'm here in Costa Rica. Costa Ricans, they treat you like your family. Wait, that, I, I'm sorry. I, I have ADD and I got sidetracked on, on what was happening. Why can't we all be black? What happened? I, uh, <laughs> listen, don't do that. Okay, <laughs> that's not right. No, why can't, why can't we money. all just get along like Rodney oh. King said? Type of I thing. I don't know. Why we have to have all this racist bullshit in the world? And it's not even all in the world, really. Mm -hmm. It's just in Texas. It's not. It's not just in Texas, but Texas is a big offender of that. We love our black people. 
Well, we that's because you're we in Houston. People. That's because you're in Houston. Look uh-huh. at what's going. Let's look at what's going on down at your border. Where? At your border. Your My state border. border. I'm where, a border. Where? Well, p- people are coming in planes to the United States. You got a bunch of, you know, people out there building razor wire. Yeah, I, I don't know if the razor wire like, stops you know, the planes. They clean out your toilets. They're, they're, they do your, you know, your clothes. That's, they, they that's raise rude. Your kids. It, they're, it's, they're, yeah. That's it's, rude what you just said. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, I had somebody I was walking with, okay? You walk? All the time. I had somebody I was walking with, so and they helpful. saw a black woman with a white male. Mm-hmm. And this person says, well, at least if you're going to be with uh, uh, that woman, she mm-hmm. should be good looking. <laughs> and I looked at him and I'm like, that is racist. He's like, <laughs> no, it's not. And, and I'm like, that is the definition of racist right there. Yeah. And no matter what I said, this person could yeah. not even grasp how that was racist. And that's the problem is there's people out there saying, I'm not racist, but they are because they don't realize they are. And even if they don't, they're just being hateful. So you don't even have to take that word racism. Just stop being hateful. You bunch of hateful idiots. Okay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that. So this person was talking to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And. The somebody else said to him, you do realize that he has two black grandchildren, right? And he goes, oh, I didn't even think of that. But that he understood that it was racist because it was because of my grandchildren. But if I didn't have black grandchildren, it wouldn't be racist. That is the idiot. That is how much idiots people are in the world today. You know, we all... Mm -hmm. We all just need to love each other. We're all humans. And that's what you can learn from Costa Rica. Because I come here, mm-hmm. nobody's treated differently. Everybody is like happy, gracious. You got these people that are poorer than the poorest people in the United States that are smiling every day. That's they awesome. say good morning to you. They're always friendly. Mm-hmm. I mean, a perfect example is their whole mantra is pura vida, which means pure yeah. life. Pure life. Pura vida. And- Exactly. And they always say, okay, so you know how in Spanish you can say de nada for you're welcome. Yeah. They don't say that. They say con mucho gusto, which I oh. love so much better. And it says it all because de nada means with it was much, with, it was much love, with much luck. With, or yes, with great pleasure. With, with and, great pleasure. The pleasure is mine. And it's just a totally different mindset. The whole world needs this mindset right now. Mm -hmm. The whole freaking world. Because I like it. We're just all a bunch of hateful idiots in the world now. Okay, Rebel, are you actually working now? I hope so. Well, now you are. There you go. What's the problem, Rebel? What's going on? Report to us from Louisiana. What, what's going report on? Report from there? Louisiana is I'm going nuts. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know why. It just all of a sudden just didn't want to work. It keeps losing the connection to the microphone, but the microphone is on the camera, so I don't know how it would do that. Huh. <laughs> it's just crazy. Okay, Technology. so since you're here now, what do you think about everything we just said? <laughs> it's, it's amazing that people in Texas are still having issues. Um, it, well, you amazing. still have it's issues in Louisiana. Yeah, we do. We do, we do. The problem is that we didn't get to know each other. We still, we still follow that unknown hatred. I think, think the problem is, is you're still together, pissed. I think you're still pissed that the North took away your slaves. That's what I no, think. No, I, I totally disagree that I, I know no human being, no anyone should be held in captive to be you're a slave right. for anything. That's 
that's uncalled for. I don't care what color you, you are. Know what, do you know, though, why the South was initially mad about the whole war and about and what caused the Civil War? Part of it was exactly that is. And to this day, if you talk to some racist mm -hmm. people that are from the South that are like they're ignorant racists, mm -hmm. they still think because I had this conversation with somebody like two years ago. They think that the North ruined their abilities to make money because the North had at that time other ways that their businesses could run and had more money. And they had the government was get, this is what they say. The government was giving them federal programs to help them with businesses and stuff. And the South had to have slaves in order to survive and eat and blah, blah, blah. The problem with that logic is, mm -hmm. so what's your excuse for beating them, whipping them and everything else that was and raping them and, and everything else that was done to them, but that they was, don't think yeah, of that. We're just having a good time. Yeah, exactly. That, that was just, that was party. Time. I did all that last night. And I mean, I got to tell you, it was pretty fun. Did, did you was, get herpes? I was, I was raped and beaten and I, you know. I, I gotta say, it wasn't so bad. That's consensual consent, right? <laughs> consensual non-consent. Yeah. Well, and you know, I was just watching a show about uh, a uh, pro football player that was mm -hmm. in prison for ten years because when he was fifteen, he got accused of rape at school. And how do you he, do that at school? And, and well, exactly. And oh he, my, there uh, is a statute of limitations on that. I'm sorry, there is a statute of limitations. No, it, hap it happened then. No, it happened then. And he took a plea because that's how things go in the court system. You're forced to take a plea, pretty much, or else they're going to screw you. It was either, you know, take the plea or do life in prison. He was being tried as an adult at 15 years old, and he did 10 years in prison. He came out and he literally got himself exonerated when nobody would believe in him. He kept, he always said he was innocent and he did get it. Here's the thing. Did she okay? recant the story? Well, Is that's that the, yeah, she recanted, but then she, it was her mom. Her mom was trying to get rich off the whole thing. And if she recanted the story, the wow. millions that she made would go back. Wow. But here's the coolest thing, because I'm a motivational person. And for, uh, the coolest thing about this movie that I dug, and literally I was while I was working, I was watching it this morning before this show. That was my preparation for the show, watching this movie. So this dude gets out of prison after 10 years, and he was in a maximum security violent prison, it, it, like no fun. Okay. Wow. And they do not like rapists or molesters in prison either. Like yeah, there's no, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, Ooh, and he was going to be, not, not a good one. No, lube, he was bent he over. Was, right? Yeah. And he was set to be, go to the NFL. Okay. Yeah. At 15, he was set to, set to go to the NFL. So anyway, bullshit evidence, bullshit. This took a plea and he was supposed to get probation. And this is what happens too. He got convinced by the lawyers mm -hmm. to take a plea because then he would get probation. See, yeah. look at the look in her eyes. Ah! And he ended up, the judge didn't like it. And this happens all the time. I gave him 10 years instead. So you make this deal that you think is going to be better for you. And he should have just pled not guilty. So what ended up happening is he did get that girl to tell the truth. He got exonerated and then he actually got invited to, you know, try out for the NFL for the Seattle Seahawks. He didn't make it. He tried, he tried out for many other teams. Didn't make it because 11 years out of the game, you're screwed. Okay. I love it. <laughs> See, you're keeping me. Sorry. Your people are from Louisiana and Texas. <laughs> I know. Right. Like, so, so bottom line is, is he got exonerated. He was too old to play football. He went out and he practiced every day for two years and trained for every day for two years and became 
the oldest rookie to ever play in the NFL. And he was on the Atlanta Falcons. So all you people out there in the world that you are down and out, that things bad are happening, that are there's things happening in your life and you th- can't see the light like so many people, this person had it so bad and never lost faith and never gave up and was persistent, persisted until he succeeded, like Ogmandino said, and boom, boom, went from 11 and 10, 11 years in, in prison to playing in the NFL. So even you, Rebel, there's still hope for you. Still hope for me. Rachel, oh, Rachel, not so much. Rachel, <laughs> there's no hope for. I mean, she's doing her cousin. I mean, that, that's bad. Not the first cousin. There's cousin down the line. Doesn't make it any, you know, weirder, but it's still. But, but you know what, though? Maybe cousins what? aren't the bad, uh, such a bad idea because then that, you know, we do so Keep much now family. with, let, well, we clone people. You got mad science. We clone people. Okay. So we're why probably not? Just, eating people. My mama yeah. and my daddy were cousins and I turned out fine. Yeah. Well, see, there you go. Rebel, she <laughs> makes you look like the, you know, like a unicorn. <laughs> I, I mean, I, th- I, I think she's going to have to get made fun of more. You want to make fun of, do you want to make fun of Rachel some more, Rebel? I don't, I don't feel the need to. I think Rachel we should. Juan, I really think Rebel, we should are make- you dating your cousin too? Is that why you don't want to talk about it? No, I am definitely not dating my cousin. <laughs> no? She's all right. She- She's already divorced from four of her cousins already. It didn't work I out. I never he married any cousins. He is not F U N or F U N N Y. All right. Let's uh oh, you know what? We're what? gonna make fun of Rachel some more. I don't even I don't think I need well, maybe I do. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. What is this? <laughs> All right, so I got to pause it for a second. So everybody knows what the hell is going on here. That was the whole show. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so so Rachel does this thing called Coffee Talk, and I love it, love it, love it. It shows absolutely how weird and screwed up and psycho she is, which is what I love about her. You know, that's why my two co-hosts fit, you know, that's part of the qualifications for co-hosts. Are you psycho? It's a prerequisite. <laughs> Are you yeah, well, that, it's on the application. Are you psycho? Are you weird? Are you out of control? And I'm most people control. are like, you know, the average person's going to see that application and check, no, 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 and, and think they're yeah. going to get the job. No, that, that disqualifies you. But let's hear more <laughs> of what Rachel had to say this morning, just this morning on Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk! <laughs> good. Really, really good. It's like um, I think oh, triple espresso. Happy <laughs> day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Plug in whatever day it is. What day is it? Wednesday. <laughs> hey, wait! I gotta pause it. Like, look at the face. Look at the face she's got right now. Okay. But there's a reason I pause this. How come Brian doesn't That's play funny. this? Uh, wait, how come Brian doesn't play your coffee talk on movie reviews and more? Because I'm weird. <laughs> I mean, to, he, sh- he, he should. To that weird bottled up. <laughs> yeah, he he should like, be playing it because you get you guys can sit there and review your coffee talk movie. All that right. Would be so much Let, fun. Let's see more. Let's see more. Hell yes. Let's see. So I'll tell you. Do you like how I said, let's see more, and you said, hell yes? <laughs> yes. What's happening today? Are you going to be the next Doctor Strange? That's what I want to know. Okay, <laughs> because that's what Doctor Strange does. It's, hey, we were talking about that earlier. Colonoscopy day. I'm going to get a colonoscopy while we're on the show. It's <laughs> 
don't think it works like that. You can come up with ideas. You said it doesn't matter what. They're all good ideas. They are she, good ideas. She can. I don't think you're in that position when you do a I colonoscopy. Right so I have a question then, Rebel. <laughs> Rebel, I have a question. Rebel is going to do, she can be the doctor. Stick the camera inside of my hoo-ha. Yeah, hold on, we gotta play the rest. Be. <laughs> hold on, we gotta play the rest of your coffee talk. But first, I want to ask a question because she knows where to stick it. Rebel, are you willing to have a proctology exam live on the air? I, I oh, what? Want, I want to. That yeah, like if Rachel stuck her finger up your butt to check your prostate. Don't worry. I'll, hey, first of all, women don't good. have prostates. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh. Well, see, are that's what. You're the doctor, Rebel. Well, then, and Rebel. And Rachel are not. Rebel, then how come you have one? I don't have one. I Prove guarantee. It. There's Prove no it. Adam's apple there. Why don't you I, I, I don't it? care about the Adam's apple. You can have that shaved. I want you to bend over and open up that glory hole and see if there's a prostate there. <laughs> Okay, First never mind. Foremost, let's go. Let's go. Doctor. Let's go back to coffee talk. At noon, Ooh. noon my time, and I'm a Leo, so I don't know what time your time. Okay, <laughs> that means I don't give a shit. <laughs> I give a shit about That's things. I'm a funny cool. Leo, because when I do give a shit about something, it's like all in. So I either yeah, all the way. Anyway, enough about me. <laughs> Is it? Is it Leo? <laughs> okay, okay, more. Just kidding. Um, today at noon, my time. Badass podcast, Pipe Man Radio. So Where? I don't know. Go find it. W come on, watch it. What? Yeah, she's like, go find it. <laughs> so let me tell you. Oh my God, yesterday morning after I did coffee talk, I was, you know, doing my normal routine and my, my little one. She, she leaves them hanging. You know why she leaves them hanging like that? Okay. Because, so they come back more. Well, yeah, no, because now people have to go to your socials and check out this morning and every morning's coffee mm-hmm. talk. So how do they do that? Do you know how they get there or should they just find it? No, like, you got a W4. You got a w four wait, 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 wait. Let's see if this works. Hey, Alexa, can you tell me how I can s- listen to Rachel doing coffee talk? From soft112.com. With the new interactive coffee talk with Soy app, you can listen, live, or listen to past broadcast. There's the answer. <laughs> you go to W four C Y. Okay. Not to hear go. coffee talk. Oh. I, I'm giving you the. That was a cue to tell everybody your socials and connect you and all that crap. Like <laughs> you're a legend in your own mind. Let's try mean, to make you a legend in everybody else's mind. You type in W four C Y. Okay, we'll keep it there, Mark. Rebel. How yes. do we how do we find you? Because when people want to reach out to somebody that freezes up all the time, how do they reach you? I shouldn't be freezing up all the time. And you can reach me on I'm Facebook, gonna... Rebel Mother. You can reach me on Twitch, Twitter. No, not Twitch. Can you reach me? On Twitch? No. Um, I should know these things. You can reach me on Facebook, basically. And um, also, you can reach me on TikTok, uh, K-E-P-I underscore E-N-T. Yeah, everybody's going to remember that. That's simple. You have a special call in. It's from my cousin who wants to know how to connect with you. Well, we do. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, there we go. See, look at that. My, one of thank our you. Great, one I of love our you. Greatest, wait. That's quiet. a cute little doggy. Quiet. Quiet. We have a, a comment on a screen from a listener here. Okay. So... This is one of our greatest show hosts. She hosts a show uh, Mm -hmm. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, Mm -hmm. 4 p.m. Eastern, Mm -hmm. 1 p.m. 
Pacific, but not on W4CY Radio. It's on our all-women station where I'm not allowed to be. And neither are you two because, listen, you two would be set women back like 70 years. Okay? So it's, on, it's on W4WN Radio. And she, I don't know if she would say this on her own show, but here it is right on the screen. Her grandparents were first cousins. That explains why she's like one of the greatest show hosts and podcasters ever in history. So yes. you need to follow everybody follow on social media, Linda Salvin, Dr. She looks kind Linda. Of like a dog. Is that, uh, that is rude. That's a picture I, of a puppy in the thing. Oh, I, <laughs> I know. Well, why are you saying she looks oh, like a Texas, dog? It, it's a puppy know. in the picture. Okay. Come on Hi, now. Chrissy. Oh my All God. Right. Dude. Wait. We'll get to Chris, we'll get to Chrissy next. We'll get to Chrissy next, but I got finished with Linda. Okay. Everybody needs to tune into her show. Rebel, why don't you give more information about the Dr. Linda Salvin shows because they are awesome. And sometimes the pipe man appears on there, but not like not like Pipe Man on here. Well, some no, of like not like Pipe Man on here. Oh, mm -hmm. if you want to hear excellent stories, um Wicks of Wisdom, Candles. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to check Dr. Linda out because she has this line of candles that can make things happen for you. She's also, she's been a psychic for, before psychics were really on anything. She's one of the original psychics. You have to hear her story. She was in um, a plane crash, um, mm -hmm. totaled a car, and a, there was a fire truck one too. You yeah. need to tune in. To Psychic Solutions on Tuesday and Fridays, uh, Tuesday and Thursdays. And yeah, come on, recovery, Rebel. Give the right day. Give the right day. Go. Recovery Wednesday. If you have any kind of addiction problem or if you have want to hear some of the stories or call in and share some of your stories, you should tune into Recovery Wednesday. Especially all of you people that buy and want to buy the group uh, Pipe Man group on. Because um, you might need to go into recovery. It's it's you called might. it's called PA Pipe Man Anonymous. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a new, it's a new, group. It's a new twelve step pipe group. Man. It's a new twelve step group. One of the steps is you have to make amends to the pipe man. <laughs> you know what? I when when he has it ready. I, I need one to play the Groupon commercial so people know what we're talking about. But right now I'm going to talk to this other listener and I don't know what I said at what time, but it could have been for the whole show. She's like, OMG Dean. And then let's see. <laughs> she also said da, da, da. exactly. We don't have prostates, but if you are, uh, if you're not, you know, it's sick. funny though, if guys not are always sick. trying to check women for prostates because they always want to go there. Well, no, because there's no prostate blocking anything, so they can go right in. You know, with the prostate, it's like <laughs> going up, it's like going up against a brick wall. Okay, so women without the prostate, them. you got free roam. And I think a Why lot. Of, my toy? <laughs> here's what I talk, think. Sexy talk. <laughs> Well, here's what I think, okay, about that whole thing. The reason why guys want to do it from behind and go in the behind I'm is getting because my on. They, have, they have an ego, okay? And they think they're so big that they're going to probably come out the other side. And that I'm sorry to disappoint you macho males out there that are, like, full of yourself, but sorry, it doesn't work that way. OK, nope, but if your your tongue was long enough to go out the other side, maybe women okay. would stop Ooh! making orgasm. Rebel, that is hot. Her tongue's really hot. Look at that. It looks like a kiss tongue. Da -da. Did you, Natural. Rebel, did you because I dated a guy one time and he had his tongue clipped and it made it longer. He did Mine's that attached. Me. Mine's attached and it's that long. That's hot. It's hot. So I do want to talk about before, because we, we only got like 10 minutes left of the show. I want to talk real quick oh, about some things that are going on. Number one, we made an announcement today. 
a lineup announcement for incarceration in July at Shawshank Prison, which is the Ohio State Reformatory. It's one of the stops on the Pipe Man radio tour. The lineup has been announced today. Go to my socials, specifically Facebook right now is where I have the posting. Go to Pipe Man Radio on all socials, but go to my Facebook and you can check up the li- lineup because it is bad ass. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull up and read some of them. But here's the thing. We're doing ticket giveaways. Okay, so you're going to have to keep tuning in and pay attention because we're going to give away tickets to incarceration. We've given away tickets to Welcome to Rockville, Sonic Temple. These are all on the Pipe Man radio tour. We're going to be giving away tickets to Ladder Than Life, Rocklahoma, and uh, uh, Aftershock Down the Road. We're, we're giving away tickets right now to Bourbon and Beyond. That's in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, <laughs> if you're into blues, you're into lo- uh, rock, and you're into bourbon, and good I'm food. Into okay, that's me. Yeah, and you might win a trip with Rachel to go. You know, because <laughs> she will she will give you bourbon like you've never had bourbon before. So get on the Pipe Man Radio socials. Tell me that you want to win tickets to a sh- uh, one of these festivals. But incarceration, I love that festival because I love that movie. And funny story is. My daughter uh, always, every time I go on tour and I'm doing festivals, so are you excited, Dad? I'm like, I don't know if excited's a word when you're going to a festival every weekend. I mean, I love it. It's great. But then when I was at incarceration the first time several years ago, I love those eyes. Uh, (laughs) And and when I was at Inca, I basically, I was standing in the prison yard And I called my door. I'm like, now I'm excited. I'm in the prison yard of Shawshank prison for a music festival. It is cool. It's also a tattoo festival. So if you want to get tattooed, there you go. But here, Breaking Benjamin, Godsmack, Shinedown. Wow. I Prevail, Hailstorm. Hold on. I got to take the shades off. Uh Uh-oh. You're going to see without the shades, Rachel. Ah! Okay. Look at those beautiful eyes. Chevelle, The Offspring, Bad Omens, Bad Wolves, Biohazard, Veil of Maya, Kill Switch Engage, Hollywood Undead, Seven Dust, Sleeping with Sirens, Skillet, Dropkick Murphys, From Ashes to New. There's so many. There's like 60 bands on here. There's that Mongolian band, The Who. They are so cool and so great. The Pipe Man has interviewed them, which, by the way, you got to go check out Pipe Man Radio, The Adventures Pipe Man, Pipe Man in the Pit, all that on all podcast outlets everywhere, including Talk Form Media. We have our own podcast outlet, so you can go there. But I have interviews, almost 3,000 interviews with bands. I have interviews with speakers, authors, all that stuff. But here's the thing. Right after this show, right after this show, I'm doing an interview uh, that you guys are going to have to check out with Mark Daly uh, announcing the release of his new single, I Want to Be More. I did an interview yesterday with one of my favorite bands, Infected Rain. Uh, I have interviews coming out and that I just did for The Rods, for Riot, a whole bunch of them. I do a lot of interviews, folks. So if you tune in to The Adventures of Pipe Man, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, every morning, or you go to any of the podcast outlets, iHeart, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, Audible, Apple, Google, you name it, I'm on it. And you can check out all my interviews as well and past shows and all that stuff. Okay. But I have to say that my co my co-hosts <laughs> are what make the show because while, I, while I'm doing this boring promo shit, they're in the background making faces and doing all this stuff. So, Thank you, Pipe Nuts. And <laughs> you look you look much better, Rachel. Uh, but I do want to say, you guys are lucky because we're creating all new assets for the shows. So we're not really playing <laughs> commercials right now. So you don't even have to get commercials, but there will be. Uh, and Rebel, you get made some suggestions. Yeah, that's why we got we to create the new ones. Uh, <laughs> like, we have to create a uh, Pipe Nuts commercial where you guys, like, sing. Can you guys sing oh, for me, please? In, in unison. Sing. 
I can in sing. unison. Do it. Oh, Both you. Yes. The Putman was my boyfriend cousin in here. Okay, wait. You guys start over because that's me, great. Put me that, on a podcast and I can be myself and be free. <laughs> What you know what's funny about that is like I go on tour and do all these festivals and I'm doing interviews backstage and bands always wonder where that pipe man name comes from and then they write a song about it about what they think it comes from. So there's like a bunch of pipe man songs out there. I gotta put them together for the show too. Uh but let me tell you what's on the Pipe Man Radio Tour for this year. Unless you guys, okay, Rachel and uh, Rebel, why don't you guess what is on the Pipe Man Radio Tour for 2024? Let's see if you can guess. Okay. Incarceration. <laughs> oh, oh, good. You were paying attention. Um, um, Urban and Beyond. Good. Uh, Rachel Roberts Recipes. Yeah, that's not a music <laughs> festival. That's a whole different type of festival. Oh. Okay, so Rock I'll tell you what it is. Yes. Welcome to Rock. And here's what's coming up in May. Welcome to Rockville, Sonic Temple. And then in June, we're going to be in the UK and Europe for festivals like do, 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 do. Leeds and Download and Hellfest and Grass Pop. These are some of the greatest freaking festivals in the world. And then in July is incarceration. And then, and there's going to be other ones mixed in too. This is just the, the mm -hmm. preliminary. In August, we're back in the UK and we're going to do Bloodstock Festival. And we might do Vakken. There's a bunch that we're looking at right now. And then in the fall, we have Louder Than Life, Bourbon and Beyond, Rocklahoma, Riot mm -hmm. Fest. Aftershock, which is on my birthday. Every year it's like right on my birthday or around it. And uh man, why is the tape why is it every time you're doing that, Rachel? The table that I'm trying I gotta <laughs> fix the camera because the table keeps moving up. I gotta keep fixing the camera. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Rebel? <laughs> She's a handful. Could you imagine going on tour with her, taking her to, oh, I don't know, Louder Than Life, Bourbon and Beyond? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, <laughs> wants, she wants to go to those because they got bourbon. I, yeah. And she's a celebrity chef, a celebrity yeah. like here <laughs> in the world, but here she's a celebrity. Yeah. She's the in house celebrity chef. But they have at Bourbon and Beyond and Louder Than Life all the celebrity chefs there. So, you know, she, we should get a booth and you could do your chef thing there. I would do my chef thing there. And my what? and we drink bourbon. That would be cool. Okay, yeah. so what is two questions? No, oh, what is the thing that you are best at cooking? Nuts. <laughs> that's why you're a pipe. I nut. That was licking, not cooking. <laughs> we're, we're gonna, that's what that's what today's lunch was was nuts. That's so funny. Really? While we're talking about this, it just proves that our phones are listening to us. Because as soon as we start talking about this, I got an email notification from Uber Eats. <laughs> Telling you, they have us plugged in 100%. Okay, so, and what is your favorite type of bourbon? Oh, uh, Blanton's. And um, there's another one called Riff or something, Riff Raff or something, Riff. That's a good one. Um, I like, I like good bourbon. I don't, I don't like bullshit. Yeah. But well, then you, you would love these there. festivals because oh, yeah. there are, there is somebody there that interviews the pipe mm -hmm. man and I interview him and his name is Fred Minnick. He is the most educated, experienced bourbon connoisseur ever like he's an expert on bourbon he has his own podcast okay. he has his own mm -hmm. newsletter and all that mm -hmm. and he's always there and he i love the way he dresses too like it's a million degrees out and he's got his suit on and he's like wow. he's at a metal festival dressed in <laughs> like a, a light blue suit with a tie and looks mm -hmm. cool as shit uh yeah, but he fun. knows his shit with mm -hmm. bourbon so some of my best interviews have followed his interviews and i'll tell you why because like, and even when I go in, 
when he does interviews, he has people try bourbon. Like I, I go to these festivals. I don't even drink. And everybody's like, here, try this here, try this. Mm -hmm. So I did this one interview with a band airborne from Australia and they got so drunk in his interview and then came to my interview that they were doing, they were pretending they were baseball announcers for major <laughs> league baseball. And they were like on point. They were like, here we go. And as he's rounding second base and heading towards third, and oh my God, I think he's going home. And oh my God, here he is. And he, he runs, he's going to the plate, he's at the plate, he's at the plate. Oh, when he's out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, what happens at Louder Than Life and Bourbon and Beyond stays at Louder Than Life and Bourbon and Beyond. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're on the Avengers Pipe Man because there's nothing that's safe. But what is safe is Nothing's it's time safe. to go. I got to go do an interview. I don't have time for you people anymore. We love you. And, and everybody listening, you get, there'll be a, a, a replay of this show. It'll also Yay. be on my podcast and the interview I'm doing after this, you can hear on the podcast and you guys are always welcome. The pipe nuts, Thank not you. so much. And Rebel, next time get your shit together before you get on the show. Because listen, what kind of representative <laughs> are you of the station that have that kind of crap going on? Well, Enough that wasn't station it. stuff. <laughs> that well, was my stuff. Well, do it. And, uh, you know, you pipe nuts, you freaking rock. And you rock! Our engineer, Juan, he rocks. So he rocks. thank you, Juan. And we got a lot more coming. Tune in every week, every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Whatever other time zone you are in the world, I'm not sure what Australia time zone is right now. But tune in because it's going to just get better. We got more and more. Thanks for listening. And thanks for being here on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Don't forget the group on. <laughs> Roll it, Juan. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.